Sunny Al Jazeera, New York. Well, Mark uh, Vice Prot is the co-director for the Center for Economic and Policy Research, and he joins us live now from Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us here on Al Jazeera. I'm just listening to some of the concerns of uh, Americans there. Yes, I've got a job, but no, I'm not earning enough. How does this announcement from Janet Yellen affect them? Well, it's very important because if the Fed were to raise interest rates and continue to do so, uh, it would throw people out of work and uh, it would also put downward pressure on wages. That is, in fact, what the Fed does. And it could even cause a recession, you know, uh, until the last two recessions, which were caused respectively by the bursting of the housing uh, bubble and the stock market bubble before that in 2000. Uh, all, the Fed, all the recessions we had in the post-World War II period were caused by the Fed raising interest rates. They were brought on by the Fed raising interest rates. So this so is a good thing, this then. is a very important thing. It's a very good thing, and it's very important politically, too, I think. And that's what I th a lot of people don't know, because people don't follow the Fed very much. But it's, it's so important, because the Fed is really the institution that if you care about having a job, if you care about whether your wages are going to go up, if you care about inequality in the society, then the Fed is the most important decision maker, even more than the President and the Congress. And a lot of people don't know that. And this time, for the first time in decades, we had a real debate over this. And I think that's what's really important. And you had, you know, uh, Nobel Prize winning economists like Paul Krugman and, Paul and, and Joe Stiglitz uh, weighing in, Larry Summers even uh, today in the Washington Post, saying that uh, the Fed shouldn't raise rates. And you had grassroots organizing that you've never had before as well. An organization called Fed Up uh, has been organizing now for quite a while ag against the Fed raising interest rates. So this is the kind of debate we really should have had all the last 20 uh, years. We would have okay. had a lot fewer people unemployed. Okay. Um, most people then will be happy with this raise, with this uh, with the state and the, the, the level being kept as it is. Who isn't? Well, there are people, uh, obviously, there are people on Wall Street. Uh, there are people of, you know, kind of just right-wing political inclinations, the kind of people that Paul Krugman calls cranks, who think that you just have to raise interest rates. They think that they, we're going to get a burst of inflation. Inflation has been, been below the Fed's uh, target for six years now. But you still have people who are uh, kind of paranoid about these things. And uh, so, and people who want lower wages, you know, there are employers and businesses who would like to, uh, they, they would prefer to have more unemployment. These are the kind of people that you see arguing for a rate hike mostly. Okay, if there was to be this uh, rate rise, what conditions would there need to be in America? Or is it very much dependent on this international market that Janet Yellen um, discussed and China too? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think that's a, an, an additional reason uh, not to raise rates. But the most important thing is we're still down three or four million jobs from where we should be from before the Great Recession. Even though the unemployment rate is at 5.1 percent, uh, you have a lot of people dropped out of the labor force, and they're not counted in that. They dropped out because they couldn't find jobs. And so uh, because of that, uh, there's really no legitimate reason to raise rates and it would be very harmful and that's regardless of what happens in the global economy okay mark weisbrot fascinating chat thank you very much well stay with us because coming up